Ben looks at the clock and finds he has 40 minutes left for flight before it takes off. Unlocking his phone, types in the destination address, looking for the least time-consuming ride and then books it. He now sits comfortably, transferring his pressure onto the naive cab driver. The question is how did Google do the math to get exact distance and give the exact travel time? In this world of supercomputers, humans have programmed the machines to perform events which are iterative and require computing. This was not the case centuries back. Great astronomers, mathematicians evaluated groundbreaking equations on which the modern world relies on. Let us look at one such beautiful formula. The relation between the distance and angle for the sphere is given by the formula of central angle, theta equals d divided by r where theta is the central angle, r is radius and d is the distance between two points on the sphere. A central angle is determined by Heverson formula. Heverson formula allows the Heverson of theta, otherwise, half theta, to be computed directly from the latitude and longitude of the two points. To evaluate this equation we have to know about the Heverson angle. Heverson of theta is half of 1 minus cos theta. By evaluating this theta we can obtain the distance between two points on the sphere. Wonderful. Let's understand this with an example. Ben has arrived to airport, who is at Manhattan and has to travel to London. Let's help Ben to find the distance between those places. The geometric position for Manhattan is 40.7, 73.9 degrees. Whereas London is located at 51.4, 0.12 degrees. Converting those values to radians and calculating for theta using the formula of Hever sine. Then substituting it in the central angle formula, theta equals d by r and solving the equation for d should yield 5,564 kilometers which is surprisingly similar to the value measured with the help of Google Maps. Wonderful! Alternatively, there is a website which calculates distance, linked in the description, which does the mathematical substitutions when the latitudes and longitudes are entered. If you find this video interesting, please like and share to support us. Thank you for watching.